Hi, I'm with Interspace Industries, and now I will demonstrate the Countdown 2. The Countdown 2 is a fully featured up-down timer with programmable profiles and a real-time clock using a tri-colored numeric display in green, amber, and red. It includes the main unit while you can add a variety of numeric displays in different sizes. The unit is controlled simply by menus on the LCD screen and the navigation wheel. There are two modes of operation, either standard or advanced. Standard mode will give you a single countdown program and will guide you through the setup process. Advanced mode will allow you to edit eight user profiles for count up or countdown and real time. After applying power, the LCD screen shows how to use the navigation wheel. Up, down, back, or escape and accept. Push accept and the next screen explains how to select the mode you want. Push accept again to move to the next screen. Now select the standard mode. Push accept because as you saw the arrows were highlighting the standard mode option. Now the screen displays the total time. To edit the minutes, use the up down buttons to increase or decrease your time. Now push accept when you have chosen your minutes. Now you can edit the seconds with the up down buttons. Now push accept. Press accept again and notice the display changes from the total time to amber time. Now enter the time you want the timer to change from green to amber. Again, use the up down buttons and the accept button to go from minutes to seconds. Press accept again and set the time you want the numeric display to change from amber to red using the up down buttons and accept buttons for minutes to seconds. The display now gives you information on how to control the next screen. Up, down to select, accept to start, back to go to the beginning to set total time again. Now push any button. You are now given three main options. You can start the timer you have just preset, you can pause the timer, and you can make the display flash. If we select start, the timer will start counting down, as you can see on the display. If you press back, you can create a new timer while the previous one is running without affecting it. This allows for the next timer to be set and ready if it is a different time from the current timer. Now once you have set the new timer, if you push start, you can interrupt the current timer with the new one, or don't press back, and instead press start to restart the current timer. For advanced mode, please see the advanced countdown to video. Thank you.